Hey guys, today's video is a special one. We are driving the 2022 Acura NSX Type S. This has 600 horsepower now. Acura has gone through and revised, improved just about everything on this vehicle. Suspension, the hybrid drive system, the turbochargers are taken from the GT3 race car. Uh, this is a very, very special package. Only 350 of these are being made. 300 of them are going to North America and they have all been pre-sold. Uh, a very special car and very excited to share it with you guys tonight. Let's do a quick walk around. We'll show you what it looks like inside and out and then we'll take it for a drive. This NSX is painted in Gotham gray matte metallic, an absolutely stunning color in person. It's a $6,000 option and probably worth it if you're already spending this much on a car. You can see we've got a revised front end here, slightly wider track in the front with uh, slightly lower offset wheels, uh, about half an inch wider in the front and about 0.8 inches wider in the rear. It gives us a much more aggressive stance. We're on a set of very aggressive Pirelli P0 tires. We have a carbon fiber rear wing. This has the lightweight package, which includes carbon ceramic brakes, carbon fiber rear diffuser, and a couple carbon fiber pieces on the steering wheel. This rear diffuser is super aggressive, looks awesome. And we also get a carbon fiber engine cover, Type S 000 of 000. <laughs> this press car has definitely been making the rounds. Yeah, what a stunner. They're only selling a Type S in 2022, and this is it for this generation of NSX. Again, this makes 600 horsepower. We have two electric motors in the front, one in the rear. Acura has increased the battery capacity and output of those electric motors by lowering the gear ratio and making improvements to the battery chemistry. Here's what the trunk looks like. A little bit of room back here, kind of reminds me of an S2000 trunk. And there's a 3.5 liter twin turbo V6. Still one of my favorite daily drivable supercars. This new Type S really does look special. The curb appeal here is just fantastic. All right, let's hop inside. All right, on the inside, we've got some more carbon fiber here on the steering wheel and right up top above the gauge cluster. The rest of the interior is mostly unchanged. We've got some red accents on the seats, Type S badging right here, our funky cup holder situation, a little bit of Alcantara down here. This interior is feeling a little bit dated at this point, but honestly, it's all about the driving experience and it's all about the powertrain in this NSX Type S. We get Apple CarPlay, the, uh, the older, Honda Acura infotainment here, which is looking a little rough these days, but at least you get what you need. And the ELS sound system has got to be the best sound system in a supercar. Uh, let's start off and let's take this for a drive. We're going to roll out in quiet mode because that's kind of the freakiest thing about this NSX Type S. Yes, supercar performance, but you can drive it on full electric power. because of the revised battery output and capacity, we can actually get a decent amount of acceleration out of this in full EV mode. Take you up to about 35, 40 miles per hour, maintain speeds. You can get around town in full EV and get excellent fuel economy in your NSX. This is rated for 21 miles to the gallon in the city, 22 MPG on the highway. Quiet mode will give you the most power out of the electric motors and hybrid battery system. Steering in this NSX is still fantastic. I love the shape of this wheel. It's gotta be just one of the best ergonomic wheels on the market. Carbon fiber has a texture to the top. Again, just feels super special. Put it over into sport mode. It'll use the engine a little bit more for light acceleration. That's kind of the default drive mode that this car starts up in. And then of course you have sport plus, which ramps things up a little bit. 
quicker shift speed, turbo noises, and if you hold all the way to the right, that puts you into track mode. Brake by wire, feels great. If you guys have seen any of our previous NSX videos, you know I'm a big fan. We spent all day out on track at Gingerman Raceway in one of these, and it performed flawlessly. Absolutely blistering performance. just a little bit of understeer at the limit makes it a little bit easier to drive we also have a feature now with this nine speed dual clutch where if you hold the left paddle it'll downshift to the lowest possible gear there we go so down to third and we're off Let's put us into sport mode here on the highway and see how this cruises. Pretty quiet at speed. Sitting at about 2100, 2200 RPM at 75 miles an hour. If we go into quiet mode, we let off the throttle, it should turn the engine off after a little bit. You can see here you've got a battery meter ga gauge here that shows you uh, how much charge you have into the system. There we go, engine kicks off at 55. And if you need just a little bit of extra power from the gasoline engine, the engine will kick on seamlessly and immediately. That transition is just beautiful. Acura did such a great job tuning this car from the beginning, and this Type S just kind of makes it a little bit more refined, a little bit, a little bit stronger of a performer on daily use, and then at the limit, a little bit more insanity ensues. It's, it's a wild, wild driving experience. Launch control in this is bonkers. We'll do a test at some point in this video once we find an open straightaway. Um, but... It's a very, very special car to drive. It's a very easy car to live with and drive on a daily basis. You're pretty much only just limited by ground clearance. The seats are comfortable. The all-wheel drive system is absolutely fantastic. We had the opportunity to drive one of these in the snow with Acura at the Bridgestone Winter Driving Experience. Just a monster on a set of uh, performance winter-oriented all seasons. What a beast, it's so easy. <laughs> I love the visibility. Even this V6 sounds pretty good. Power delivery is instant. And it's a little bit dramatic too. There is a lot of push here from this twin turbo V6 and hybrid powertrain. It just feels like you're getting a nice hug from these bucket seats. Immediate response from the hybrid system. And then once the turbos kick in, putting your foot down in this NSX is just wonderful. <laughs> Track mode again. We have a revive.
nice sound tube. It transmits just a little bit more engine noise into the cabin. And the nine speed is tuned to give us more downshifts earlier when we want them. It's not gonna hold back on our downshifts as much when we're coming down from speed, which I appreciate. You can hear some turbo whooshes and whistles on light throttle applications. That's always fun. Put us back into drive here. It's <laughs> just so much fun. thing about this Type S is they haven't over stiffened the suspension. This is still just as livable and comfortable and wonderful on a daily basis as the regular NSX. It really doesn't make any concessions for its added performance. If anything, it's just a more refined and enjoyable driving experience. All right, we'll leave it in sport mode. Just do a little bit more driving here. is really such an important part of the supercar driving experience and this NSX Type S really does make some unique noises from braking pushing power back into the battery system to some of the downshifts from the DCT the turbo whistle it all adds up to a pretty special driving experience and then out of the blue it all just shuts off and goes into EV mode <laughs> It's such a contrast. See how much we can cruise here in quiet mode. All the gauges are very clearly laid out. This is such a simple car to use and operate.
and sneak in a quick launch control here. <laughs> the brutality combined with the smoothness is just mind-blowing. I've been doing this a while, I'm getting a little bit jaded, I've driven a little bit of everything, but every single time I do a launch in an NSX, it just, it shocks me. <laughs> uh, the way this delivers power is so immediate, so smooth, so effortless. get this immediate torque from the hybrid powertrain followed by the buildup of boost and the sound and everything just kind of comes together to create this wonderful driving experience. Track mode is definitely a highlight in this car. gimmicks with how this car drives. Everything feels very purpose built. When you put it into track mode, it just shows you this NSX screen, which is kind of a calm screen. No distractions, no infotainment. Focus on the driving experience. You got your tachometer, speedo, that's it. There's a wonderful separation between the different drive modes. They all serve a purpose. You can go from full bore insanity to EV in a split second. Throttle tuning is expertly done. It's not over boosted. It just makes sense. It's linear, easy to modulate. Again, this is such a driver friendly package. As a final edition, the last year of the second generation NSX, I'm gonna say this is a proper, properly set up car. All the tiny little improvements that Acura's made here have added up to just make this a fantastic car. Real pleasure to get behind the wheel of this. Glad I'm able to share it with you guys tonight. Uh, I only have had this for a couple days. And uh, then it's sent off to the next journalist, who knows where. I'm excited to see what Acura does with the next generation of NSX. They'll probably go full EV. But, I don't know, I think this, this second gen NSX will always be one of my favorite supercars. A fantastic daily driver. And, in its time, underappreciated. You've got to realize that this NSX came out just shortly after the Porsche 918, the McLaren P1, the LaFerrari, all of which cost 10 times what this sells for, but uses a pretty similar technology with electric torque fill. It was a very forward thinking car at its time, and I think it's kind of paving the way for supercars in the future, even today. 
yes, you get in this and it interior feels a little bit dated at this point. We don't have the most up-to-date Acura Honda infotainment system. Some of the materials are a little bit Acura parts bin, but the powertrain, the driving experience, it delivers on a level that is very unique in the supercar space. And as a result, it's a really nice car to drive and uh, a lot of fun to live with on a daily basis. It's just so easy. You wanna just go and put miles on this thing it's just so easy to get into this NSX and take it out for a drive. It doesn't feel fragile. There's still a sense of occasion here behind the wheel. Yes, it doesn't have a V10 or a V12 like a lot of other supercars on the market, but it's arguably quicker than some of those. All right, guys. Well, that's gonna be a wrap for today's video. This has been a wonderful couple days in the Acura NSX Type S. Just what a treat. Wasn't even expecting this loan. Acura got in touch, said, hey, we've got a Type S in Detroit. You want to go? And uh, would have been a fool to refuse. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. We'll wrap it there, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.